Hey everyone, welcome back to Body Bags. Um, this is our theme week for this month, and uh, this particular theme is uh, an interesting one. We're calling it a uh, he said, she said sort of thing. Um, basically, we're all going back to an old video from one of our reviewers of the past, and we are watching their video. And then we're giving our take on the same movie. So I decided to go with Week 41 and uh, Shock Extreme 1, who reviewed uh, Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace. What can you say about Blood and Black Lace? Um, Shock Extreme 1, at the time when he reviewed this, was... I'll say not very, not super knowledgeable of Jalos, and so a lot of his review was uh, comparing it to like slasher films, which works. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'll be leaving a link to his video down below, so check that one out as well. Um, I'm a bit more, a bit more knowledgeable about Jalos. At least you know I, I am now. You know. What you have with Blood and Black Lace is uh, essentially a proto Jello. It came out in 1965, and it really started all of the tropes that you'd say you'd see later on in like like Argento films and everything. You know, the black gloved killer. You know, um, the somewhat like over the top type bloody deaths and everything. It all kind of started with Blood and Black Lace. Um, this movie itself isn't super bloody, you know? So that's one thing that, you know... That's one of the reasons why I consider it, like, a proto-Jalo. Because, you know, it it didn't go to the level of extreme violence that later Jalos did. But all in all, solid, solid film. You see this and you just go, oh yeah, I see it. Like, I, I see where, you know, like, in Tenebrae, where this came from. I see where, in Deep Red, this came from. You know, you you're, you see the, the stepping stones, and it's kind of kind of really cool to see. Um, the acting in this, it's, it's decent. It's your typical 60s Italian acting. It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. Effects are good. The cinematography is really solid in this. What this also does is it... It introduces, like, the masked killer, the idea of a masked killer, but the, the killer, Im like, himself is, they have, like, this mask, and it's almost like just, like, a flesh-colored blob. There, there's no, let me, on, let me just see if there's a, if there's a picture or anything, I, I don't, no, I don't think there is, but it's just, like, a completely, like, if you imagined a person with no eyes, no no nose, no mouth, just all just flesh, that's what it looked like. Kind of like like a Slender Man type look, and it was honestly really creepy. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. This particular Blu-ray is from uh, who the hell is this from? Uh, VCI Entertainment. Um. It's a pretty solid Blu-ray, Blu-ray uh, DVD combo pack. Y you know it's kind of good when I actually keep the DVD. I usually sell the DVD, so just saying. Um, really solid release for a really good movie. For a rating, this is a complete 8 out of 10. You cannot go wrong with this. It just works. So yeah, uh, take that for what you will. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link below to uh, Shock Extreme 1's video. And, uh, you know, go back, watch it, see, you know, see what you think. Um, like I said, he focused more on um, its relation to slasher films, which is an interesting interesting viewpoint. I, like I said, I'm sticking to, to Jalo because it's a Jalo. You know, but uh, going back, see what you think. Um, I think uh, I think you did a pretty good video, honestly. I gotta say, I, I dug it. Um, 
yeah, let, let's be honest, nowadays the his background might be a little bit questionable, but, you know, that that is what it is. You know, it, it was eight years ago. <laughs> Take it for what you will. So, yeah, Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace, 8 out of 10, really solid movie. Do yourself a favor, see it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the week with other, um, you know, throwback reviews. I think, honestly, I might actually be one of the earliest ones. I don't know if anyone's ever, if anyone else is going back as far as I am. They might be. But, uh, you know what? Just enjoy it. You'll have a good time. So, yeah, that's it for me. See you next time.